stop flapping. So less flapping from me and more walking. It's a little bit scary. Oh gosh, can you hear the dog? Good morning, beautiful people. It is 9.03 on Friday, the 6th of May, and I've got a special guest. Hi. Hi. You may recognize this face. Because, I don't know about that. Well, the amazing <laughs> Sally Kettle was one of the first women to say yes to coming on the Tough Girl podcast and was one of the first four guests that I had back on the 4th of August 2015. Sally is here and she, I'm gonna go come and stay with Sally. Yes. Um, I'm fast packing today. So I've handed over this massive bag out of my rucksack. So all I'm taking is my water, lunch, rain clothes in case it gets wet, my puffer jacket and my poles and um, extra boost of electricity. And then, so we will be seeing you again in Abasok. Yay. 20 miles later. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Beautiful people, I'm gonna give you a quick update. So stayed here, the ship hotel last night. I am gonna be leaving in two minutes. I'm gonna leave at 9.15. I'm actually gonna put my, so I normally don't um, activate my watch to put on like hiker mode. Hiker mode, I love that. Uh, because it just kills my battery and it's so difficult to charge it. But because tonight I know I'm staying with Sally, I can do that. Onwards, let's go. So I just filmed that beautiful clip of me walking that way. I was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> this is actually the way. This is where we want to go. The wind's starting to pick up quite a bit, but you can see the headland over there, which is where I walked yesterday into the town. Then stayed at that, the ship hotel. Then we've walked up past this church, graveyard. I feel a bit strange because my backpack is so light. It's like I'm like, bouncing along bouncing along which obviously love but it, i'm also a little bit like i mean i know i packed my bag and packed my bag to give to sally but i'm also paranoid like what have i forgotten something what have i forgotten something and it's like sarah chill you haven't forgotten anything it's all good you're just carrying your lunch and your waterproofs and your water you're good just get walking girl stop flapping it's okay Oh, oh, stay. Good boy. Okay. I don't like dogs off the lead when they're barking at me. I'm just going up that way. Can you see the white things this way? No, 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 stay down. It's a little bit scary. Oh gosh, can you hear the dog? God, I hate dogs off the lead. They really scare me. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to go for me. Oh, God, my heart. <laughs> oh, so, it's sometimes just a little scary when you walk past them with the dogs and you're just like, what if it does go for you? Like, So just crossed the field, there were cows in the field. I thought, brilliant. I've opened a gate to walk down this lane, thinking, oh, there's not gonna be any animals down here. <sighs> yes, there is. Can you see them? Right there. Oh. 
do not like this. I do not like this. Okay, you're doing fine. I'm doing fine. Some days I love nature and other days I'm just like, no, nope, I've had enough. I've had enough fields. I've had enough cows. I've had enough dogs. I've stood enough sheep poo. I've stood enough cow pats. I've been through so many farms. I'm a bit over it. I want to go back to the coast. Less farmland, more coastline. More coast time, I should say. Okay, come on coast. Let's find out where you are. Mini rant. Do you not really me off especially when you're coming through farmland it's when it's just not signposted clearly make it easy for the walkers so we're not trampling across land that we shouldn't be trampling across breathe deep. why am i stressed i think i'm stressed because of the cows <laughs> and then that's like had knock-on consequences where like everything's starting to like stress me out and piss me off So I did like the inland route to this point, but you can also walk along the beach, Hell's Mouth Beach. However, it does depend on the tide. So when I was uh, doing it, the tide was in. So therefore, not an option. So check out the tide times before you make your decision. You can see, so you are able to walk the full length of this, depending on where the tide is. And that's the headland that I walked around earlier. And then obviously we came across all these sort of farmlands. So you can see some big old clouds up that way and a few ahead. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that we're gonna be lucky and just miss the rain. We're coming to the end of the Hellmouth Beach section, which is along here. And in the distance, you should be able to see a gate. So we're gonna go through the gate and then we're gonna go round this headland to the other side. And that should take us around to Aversox. It's not always sunshine and blue skies on the Wales Coast Path. Woo! Well, the weather has certainly changed. Can you see the mist blowing low? Oh my God, I'm getting tired. Blown across. It's me banging on about cows again. But these cows behind the fence, they are wonderful. And you know what I really, really like about this stretch is that there's a dedicated, really, really, really obvious path to follow. You're not just traipsing in the field. It's like walk in this section. The cows cannot reach you. You cannot reach the cows. Life is good. Ah, so fabulous, so what's your name? My name's Steve Tilly and I'm walking for Mind. So I'm doing the Welsh Coastal Path. Uh, I'm going to finish hopefully the end of May in Chester and then it's the English Coastal Path. Woohoo! How are you finding it so far? Uh, up to today, round clean, it's actually been really flat, but now of course I've got back to hills again. But the Welsh Coastal Path is to die for. Uh, the scenery is marvellous, people are friendly. Um, you, you can't do without it, it's just brilliant. What one word would you use to describe the Wales Coast Path? Hilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's Amazing. my word, it's hilly. So, question, how can people sponsor you? Where should they go? They can look on Facebook for Walking the Coast or they can find me on a website which is www.walkingthecoast, or one word, the number four, mind.uk. Steve, best of luck with your walk, best of luck with your challenge. You're doing an amazing job. I'll put all the links down below so that you can support Steve as well. Thank you very much indeed. That will be absolutely brilliant. We're coming into the final descent into Aversock, so obviously <laughs> you can't really see it, but that is Aversock down there. So I just sort of walked down this gravel road and gonna continue along this pathway and I'm hoping it brings us out in Aversock. Fingers crossed. Final push, final push. 20 miles in 
Aversock golf course is behind me. This is a little bit of a steep hill. Heading up there, gonna bang a right, and that'll be the main road into Aversock, where at some point, hopefully, I will be meeting Sally. Team, this is Aversock, where everyone smells amazing, and it looks like everyone has a four by four as well. So I think I'm gonna fit in super well. I'm so relaxed and uh, cheers, yay! <laughs>